Hello, I'm Vicky, otherwise known as the Freeform Fairy, and having just got back from the allergy show um, late last night, I thought I would talk to you about the products that I came across at the show and some of the new producers that I found and was really impressed by their products, although I haven't got them on display here because I couldn't afford to buy it all. Um, so first up, I think I was probably most surprised by the amount of crackers and crisp breads that were uh, on the market now. Um, I don't think that was the same last year. There seemed to be an awful lot of sweet things last year. Um, but this year there seemed to be an explosion of oat based products and savoury crackers and uh, baking mixes. Um, so anyway, my absolute favourite, I think, of the crackers was probably from Freed. Now they um, do three different types of cracker or crisp bread as they call them. They're really crunchy, really crispy. They've got some really nice ingredients in there. Um, and yeah, they're just a bit different from the sort of boring old crackers that you might get on prescription if you're a celiac. Um, and they're really tasty and um, like I say, really crunchy, lovely, lovely product, lovely people too. So that was probably my number one find. Um, I was then pretty excited to find a chocolate spread that was dairy free um, and gluten free. They're, that's quite hard to come across. Um, there was one brand, Anthony Worrell Thompson, who was doing a dairy free chocolate spread that we could get in Sainsbury's, but that seems to have disappeared now and I heard rumours that that had been discontinued. So this takes the place of that and this is a chocolate orange spread um, and it's really delicious. It's a little bit uh, runny but that might be because it's quite warm um, but it is really tasty. So that's by Play Mill. Well what else? Oh yes these Trek bars. Now like I say there was an, a massive explosion of oat based um, products which is great if you're a celiac that can tolerate oats. Not so great if you're uh, someone who can't tolerate oats. We used to think that our daughter wasn't able to tolerate the, the gluten-free oats but recently she seems to have um, tolerated them a little bit so she did try quite a lot of the different products and I think these ones were probably one of the nicest um, they're called Trek and they're apparently the same company as Naked which I didn't know and they've got they've got um, soya in them so they're not going to be any use to you if you're soya free but because of that, they've got um, protein in them. So obviously they're supposed to keep you going for a little bit longer and there's some really nice flavours. Um, and I think my favourite would have to be the chocolate one, of course, being a chocoholic. So that's those. Um, Be Free. Now they're a company that I haven't been able to get hold of. Um, they were at the allergy show last year and I think I missed them and being a predominantly Tesco shopper, we haven't been able to get them either. But they've recently launched this fajita kit, which is supposed to be stocked in Tesco. So I'm hoping that if it's nice, we'll be able to find it there. I haven't tried it. I can't tell you what it's like, but it sounds great. It's got the wraps in it. It's got a seasoning mix, a salsa sachet. Um, so all we need to add are vegetables and meat or just vegetables, whatever you want, or tofu. Um, make up the fajitas and you've got a meal which frankly is brilliant because I love Mexican and that sounds super quick to me um, and they also do the wraps on their own and like I say I haven't tried them yet so I'm looking forward to giving those a try and various bagels now these are the multi-grain bagels as you can see They've got loads and loads of seeds on them and they are absolutely delicious. I had one for my lunch, really impressed. The flavour, the texture, everything is absolutely spot on. It's pretty much what you'd expect from a bagel that's got gluten in, but it's gluten and dairy free. Okay, so then on to the um, foods of Anthony cookie shots. Now these are beautiful brownie biscuits that just melt in the mouth and really lovely and they're um, a company that I haven't come across in the supermarkets but I've heard lots about. Definitely worth checking out. Their products were really lovely. Um, 
but this little bag of brownie biscuits was three pounds so that's certainly not something that you would be able to afford necessarily on a daily basis but with uh, children's parties coming up we thought that it would be a nice treat for the kids for their birthdays um, then you can see there's quite a few nature's path products um, again all oat based so if you're not able to eat oats they're not going to be any good for you but this granola with blueberries, raspberries, strawberries and yoghurt chunks is absolutely divine and I spent um, the best part of the evening trying to avoid eating it all. Um, as you can see it's down to here, it was up to about here when I opened it last night. So just be warned, once you open it you won't be able to stop eating it. Not sure I'd have it for breakfast, it's pretty sweet but a really nice thing to have as a snack. Same with the granola bars, which are pretty much the same thing, but something you can pack in your handbag. Um, on to these Barcat ice cream cones. I was really, really pleased to find these. Um, you don't find them very often, very easily. Well, we don't. Uh, we've had the waffle cones before, which are a bit more expensive, but these are just like the wafer, normal wafer ice cream cones, which I've never seen before. And perfectly, they're gluten-free, wheat-free, milk-free, egg-free, nut-free and sugar-free. I was very happy with that. Um, we haven't tried them yet, but the kids always love to have ice cream in a cone and it's very rare that my daughter can do that. So that's a really great find and a really nice treat for her. So fingers crossed they taste nice, I'll let you know. And, and then last but not least is the goody, good stuff, which are sweets that are uh, vegetarian, they don't have any gelatin in them, they're gluten free lactose free, gelatin free and nut free and they've got natural colours and flavours in them and we bought an enormous bag of little bags because we thought they'd be perfect for the birthday parties and then on to some pro products that I didn't get around to buying um, either because they were expensive or they were frozen or um, I just didn't, didn't have the, the capacity to bring them home but they were things that I tried and I really liked so the first one was George's Choice they're a company, the sort of products that I wouldn't generally buy, but if you were really strapped for time and you needed something in your freezer as a backup for when you got home from work or for when the kids get home and they need to dash off to some club or other, um, they do gluten-free chicken and mushroom crispy bakes, um, fish cakes, beef lasagna, Mexican bean bake, which I tried and was absolutely lovely, it was really delicious, uh, pepperoni pizza, a margarita pizza, and chicken bites, so like chicken nuggets, so if you don't want to make your own using the recipe on my website, uh, then you could go and buy these, and they're available in Asda, Tesco's and Waitrose, and they're in the freezer section, so they're worth looking out for. Another new company was uh, Too Good To Be Gluten Free No G, and they are pie makers, and I tried the mini cheese and onion pastryless quiche, which was really, really delicious. It tasted gorgeous. Obviously, there was no pastry on it, so I couldn't tell you whether the pastry was good. But they do a whole load of savoury and sweet um, pies, certainly ones to look out for um, to make a change from the very few that are on the market already. So on to Pudology. They are a luxury gluten-free and dairy-free pudding company that do a chocolate pudding which is a bit like a ganache, a chocolate orange one and a very impressive banoffee one considering that it's dairy free. Um, they are available in supermarkets I think and they're delicious, um, certainly a luxury product because they're pretty expensive. Another one I came across was Rawlicious, they do more crackers um, and they're all raw, made from raw ingredients, um, or those that haven't been heated above 40 degrees. They're gluten-free um, and vegan, dairy-free, wheat-free and no sugar, no added sugar. They, their crackers were really tasty, very, very tasty. And they also did kale chips, which um, are de is basically dehydrated kale with added um, flavours and nuts and things like that were really really delicious but very expensive and then last but not least are Wellabies another cracker kind of cracker producer they make little tiny dipping type crackers and best of all they make a chips and dips combination which is a box that's got their little chips in and um, a, a pot of hummus different flavoured hummus with a different flavoured chips 
and that, that's a long life product because it's pasteurised so it doesn't need to be kept in the fridge perfect for picnics, perfect to put in your lunchbox, perfect to take out in your bag or just to have as a, as a backup um, if you're caught out sometime without lunch or whatever so yeah, a really good one to look out for well at ease so that's my overview of the show. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope to see you there in 2015. Bye.